Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. This is Nitin here and today I have come up with very amazing problem or you can say a trick of solving problem and it is uh, based on moment of inertia and to my students as I promised. So here it is on time. So let's uh, discuss this. This is going to be the diagram of uh, this uniform plate for which moment of inertia we have to calculate by using a trick. Okay. So here, let's discuss a statement of this problem and uh, as you can see, find the moment of inertia of a uniform plate about the axis given. The plate has mass of capital M and the shortest distance of uh, vertex A and B from the rotation axis uh, R, H1 and H2 as shown in the figure. The vertex C is lying on the rotation, rotation axis. So let's discuss the concept point and uh, some precautions advantages also I have uh, discussed about this problem so let's uh, read it one by one and then we will be moving towards the trick so it is as you can see here it is valid only for uniform triangular plates please remember it apply this trick only for uniform triangular plates however regular geometries like square rectangles pentagons and hexagon or n-sided regular polygons can be divided into small triangles and this method will be applicable so i'll show you in this video that uh, how to apply for a uh, square or other geometries also so basically if it is a square just divide in any two triangles then you can uh, you are uh, set to go you can apply okay so basically now let's discuss the advantages of it so main advantage which i find in this trick it is applicable for triangle about any axis this axis may lie in the body or outside the body or uh, this axis can be tilted also or basically any orientation of the axis this method will work that is what i have written here applicable for any uniform triangle about any axis passing through the body or away from the body the axis can be in any orientation or location Another advantage is it makes the calculations very simple, saves time which is very crucial for J advance or any other exam in general. So as uh, you know most of you are students and you are going to write a JE exam or maybe in future you will be writing. So you know the value of time. So such tricks are going to save some time for you. Now based on my experience with the students, the caution point right never apply for non-uniform triangles you know, sometimes students become habitual and they apply wherever they see triangle so you need to be careful about you should never apply this method for non-uniform triangles or directly for uh, squares and hexagons because whatever trick i'm going to tell the method we will follow they will uh, follow the same method for a square or hexagon and they will be making a mistake in this so Thumb rule is always break the bodies into triangles if they are, uh, you know, uh, rectangle or a square or hexagon, pentagon or n-sided polygon or any other irregular geometry is there. As long as we are able to break the body into triangles, we can definitely use this method. So let's discuss this, the magical trick. So here, as you can see in the diagram, what I'm trying to explain here is suppose for this plate, I want to calculate moment of inertia about this axis. This axis can be anywhere. I am just taking vertical and orientation of this I'm taking in any random uh, orientation. So what this trick is in each side of triangle, you know, if total mass of the triangle is M in each side at the midpoint, you replace the triangle with three point masses of m by three m by three m by three masses each of them will have m by three mass and you know now you can remove the triangle measure the distances of these uh, three point masses from the axis perpendicular distances you need to calculate and if these distances are x1 x2 x3 then simply we can write moment of inertia of this system as a three particle system. We are going to verify this and finally we are going to discuss the solution of actual problem also. So this is the concept part when to apply, how to apply, you know, all these things. So here 
you can see this system will reduce to just three particles and for uh, this type of uh, system we can apply m by 3 x1 square plus m by 3 x2 square plus m by 3 x3 square so that is going to give you the answer for this and another important part is while dealing with the square we are not going to do m by 4 m by 4 m by 4 and similarly for hexagon i am not going to uh, use m by 6 m by 6 it's not going to work hexagon if this is the hexagon you may break it into triangles these triangles regular uh, you know equilateral triangles then you can calculate about any axis then it will work okay so let's uh, verify in different cases so i am taking a plate here and it is uh, present here this is, this is a very standard problem and uh, students are advised to remember the result of it its vertex is at a height of h so in that case its i axis is mh square by 6 this is the standard result we are going to verify whether by this trick we are going to get that or not so i am replacing this uh, plate with three point masses placed at the midpoint of each side m by 3 m by 3 m by 3 so one of the mass will be present at axis itself its moment of inertia will be zero and since it is at the midpoint this height is going to be h by 2 this is also going to be h by 2 right so overall moment of inertia of this i can write for two particles for third one it is zero m by 3 into h by 2 whole square plus m by 3 into h by 2 whole square so and third one is zero you can see here mh square by 12 plus mh square by 12 it is going to give us mh square by 6 that is the actual result also similarly for equilateral triangle uh, the standard result is uh, ml square by 12 most of you will be aware of it so now i want to calculate moment of inertia about this axis which is passing through the centroid of it and it is perpendicular to the plane of the plate and about that axis this result is ml square by 12 let's verify this so we can find out this distance uh, this will be this centroid will be dividing this into 2 is to 1 ratio pretty standard so i can write it as 1 by 3 of uh, this height x is 1 by 3 of this height so this height is l sin 60 so i am going to get l by 2 root 3 so x is known to me now three particles m by 3 m by 3 m by 3 all are uh, symmetrically they are placed so I can say m by 3 x square is moment of inertia of one particle, any of them. And there are three such particles. So mx square is going to be the uh, answer. Now x value if you substitute here, this will give you l square by 12. So overall answer will become ml square by 12. It works perfectly here also. Let's go for a square. How to apply for a square? So best is, uh, see, a square result uh, we already know. It is ml square by 12 plus ml square by 12 so that is going to give us ml square by 6 that is a standard result okay now i am going to break this into two triangles i am separating this its mass will become m by 2 so i am going to place m by 2 divided by 3 m by 2 divided by 3 at midpoint of each side one of them is present at the axis its moment of inertia is 0 and this distance will become l by 2 as overall it is l similarly this will become l by 2 as this is also l so i can write now here m by 6 l by 2 whole square for this particle similarly for next particle also i can write m by 6 into l by 2 whole square and for third one it is going to be zero because it is present on the axis itself when i simplify this you can see here ml square by 24 i am getting plus ml square by 24 i am getting which is going to give me ml square by 12 double of this because there is one more triangular plate here in order to complete this sphere uh, not sphere square okay so i hope you can understand uh, that overall uh, moment of inertia about this axis will be double of this so double of this is going to give us ml square by 6 now I hope uh, dear students, um, since many of you have given try for this question, since I posted in our uh, group. So now here is the solution. You can see how easy the solution is for this problem now. Uh, the regular method would have been extending this side and getting this triangle also and getting this triangle also.
so there are three such triangles we can apply superposition and then we can uh, solve for uh, using the previous triangle result but that method is little lengthy and uh, you know compared to this trick so let's go ahead with this problem now so here i'm going to divide this uh, triangle into three parts again m by 3 m by 3 m by 3 at the midpoint if this is h1 this is going to be h1 by 2 this is going to be h2 by 2 if this is h2 and this is the midpoint this y coordinate is h1 this y coordinate is h2 so y coordinate of midpoint will become h1 plus h2 by 2 all right now there are three particles so for first particle m by 3 h1 by 2 whole square for next particle here m by 3 h2 by 2 whole square similarly m by 3 h1 plus h2 whole square by 2 h1 plus h2 by 2 whole square of it okay when we simplify this we are going to get a very clean answer and that is m by 6 h1 square plus h2 square plus h1 h2 i'll request students to remember this result if they are really interested in saving time along with this trick they must know this is pretty standard result you know especially all the good students normally they will remember it so i hope you have enjoyed the video and uh, this uh, amazing video if you have really liked it please share it with every possible person you come across please make it viral and uh, i'll come up with another such amazing video very soon thank you thank you very much and please don't forget to subscribe thank you very much